Well, we are beginning the vlog for Monday, December 21st, at 16 hours and 21 minutes into the day. So, we've got a package opening. This is our, this seems to be our usual thing. At least for now, anyways. Usual, only usual as long as it's usual. <laughs> So our first package is from Amazon. And it's the connector for it's the connector uh, for the bathtub. Uh, this part on the top here goes on the this part on the top goes on the sink. Uh, actually, I actually can open up and sort of show you how it works. Let's see if it's easy to open. No, it's going to take a bit of doing. Not too much, though, so I should be able to do this. Cutting it open here. Okay, so this is the little device here. The white part here is you hold, you pull the white part down like this, it's spring loaded. And you're able to pull this out. And so, this is how the thing goes together. This, this end, well, should, this is how it goes together. So it's this into here. And there's a little ridge there that holds everything in. And some uh, uh, anchors, that spring-loaded anchors that will, that will attach it. So you can just do this. Well, that's back in again. Pull it down. Pull it out, and you're done. This part hooks up to the sink. This part here hooks up to the hose that leads to the uh, to the bathtub. So on to our next package. And this is it here. And this is it here. Sometimes. You think you're doing a good job in terms of holding stuff up, but it goes too quickly when you're watching it back, so you have to slow things down in terms of uh, the presentation so that people can see. This is unusual. Oh. Ah, more batteries. I think they're batteries anyways. Open this up and see what this is. These are, these are drill bits. These are, the, these are drill bits. That's what the, these are. Very tiny drill bits. So. And the third package that came in, the larger package, you use my, uh, my uh, contactless uh, large bin, is my Kellogg Cornflakes. I got them from, uh, from Amazon as well, anyway. So. And I like the chocolate ones. <laughs> so this is uh, 
uh, what came in. I would just just went and checked the mail with the, with the with the overnight uh, overnighter on the weekend. If anyone who's done you know, done an all nighter knows that uh, all nighters are tor in many cases torture. <laughs> Well, it make it makes you really tired for the next day, and so you have a tendency to sleep in. And that's why I sort of watch and talk about my productivity. Is that I want to make sure that I'm productive enough, uh, even after the day I slept over, so that uh, the there isn't much of a slowdown in terms of what gets done and and, and the progress, the overall progress of what goes on here. And. Uh, but anyway, the things do slow down. There are, uh, are things that don't work out too well. But these are things you have to deal with as they come along. And uh, you persevere through whatever issues uh, uh, kind of pop up. Very alert, uh, very late end to uh, the vlog for uh, Monday. It is 16 hours and 36 minutes into the day of Tuesday, December, I think, 22nd. It's the 22nd today. Check and make sure. Yep, it was December 22nd, so my. Uh, Ability to remember the day, sort of, <laughs> is getting better. Um, and just what happens is that there was a lot of work I got done last night. Uh, some of the work was uh, rather arduous. Very, uh, it wasn't difficult. It just took a long time to get through. And it does. There are certain things that take up a certain amount of time, or, or actually, no. of course, things take up a certain amount of time. There are certain things that take very long to do in terms of the amount of time you have, and it off it often puts a, a crimp in your schedule, but. At the same time, while it may be viewed as a setback, the positive thing is it's better than the nothing that used to get done on Mondays and Tuesdays uh, uh, after I spent uh, doing an all-nighter over the weekend. So my overall functionality and efficiency coming out of the all-nighter is actually getting better. Although, uh, there is the, the obvious consequences to the all-nighter uh, that one can see. And so, a negative is still produced. Not overall, but a negative nonetheless. And that's, that's kind of how you sort of, uh, I, I assess things, is that there's a, there are positives, there are negatives. And as long as the overall positive, right now I'm looking on a week-to-week -week basis, as long as the week ends up positive, in a balance of positive and negative, uh, then you're all right. You're doing, you're doing okay. Sometimes it ends up being neutral, but even that's okay. But typically, it's been positive. It, uh, it's been positive week after week. So I have been improving. There are, have been setbacks. There are, have been negatives. Even with, with my meditation and, and, and some of the gaming, there have been setbacks in terms of uh, the amount of time I have to play. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm uh, a little late to the game. I haven't been playing much today at all, actually, uh, because my body needs to sleep. Uh, whenever you do the long tasks, it makes you physically exhausted. The long tasks, even though they're not necessarily difficult to do, uh, present a challenge 
uh, to your physical stamina that uh, uh, well, it's not it's not typical. It, it's just not the, the way things are typically done. So, uh, and, and so your body realizes this and uh, tries to make up for it by working uh, extra hard, requiring extra amount of food, uh, and so on and so forth, and. and Sorry, if you miscalculate on that, if you if, if you're if you're, you know, the amount of energy you need on a particular day is miscalculated, then uh, you're going to be off, and it's going to cost you. In terms of your physical capacity. But but at the same time, is that you you, you, you do learn from it. On average, right now, I, I have learned how to manage the uh, the energy my body has. I've learned how to sort of manage the, the physiology. So typically, uh, we're on an up note on a week-to-week -week basis now. And the work on, on Cyborg Alpha, the, the work we're doing on Cyborg Alpha, you know, is doing it's doing well. So, uh, and see, Cyborg Alpha is 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 the sort of the uh, the concept of. The relationship between man and machine, and particularly, in this case, the uh, devices. Uh, and one of the large, the long, arduous tasks I've, I've been working on is adding two more tablets that will end up being used for coding uh, in the back room. So now I have a coding uh, a, a, a desk, a test desk, uh, that I can work on uh, uh, wherever I am. So I, I do have to show you my uh, portable bag that I take with me. My my backpack, if you will. Uh, well, it is a backpack. I and mean, it contains my entire office in, in terms of the functionality. So basically, I've been able to reduce the office, the research desk, down to a portable bag and able to move things along with it. So the question is, though, what's next? What's going to be next? Uh, but that's not necessarily no, because it, it occurs when it, when, you know, <laughs> it, it occurs when it occurs. And that, that's the, that's the extent of things can be scheduled here, because as you've seen, the schedule, the schedule, right, my, my routine changes almost on a weekly basis. Sometimes I'm here early, sometimes I'm here late. Now I'm very late. Uh, I'll be late starting the vlog again. Uh, I think it was uh, the weekend vlog didn't start till Sunday night uh, at one o'clock in the morning. So that's the way things are. This is the reality. That there's nothing edited here. We don't edit stuff up. about six o'clock well a little after six o'clock in the evening and we're starting the vlog for uh tuesday december 22nd so it's uh 18 hours and 17 minutes into tuesday uh the 22nd day of december uh we're just about three days away from what we'll call new christmas or or we'll call the commonly known christmas because there is actually an old christmas on January seventh, celebrated by the Russians and uh, a number of the people, a number of the people who are part of the Eastern Christian tradition, uh, as am I, uh, and we celebrate uh, Christmas on the seventh of January, just as did uh, George Washington a lot and a large chunk of the uh, uh, the United States uh, prior to eighteen hundred. Uh, And so this gives me an extra chance to talk, uh, an, an extra amount of time to extend Vlogmas. For the, and for those of you who love Christmas, if you love Christmas, then this is just a banana. But you can start Christmas from December first and keep it all the way until basically February first. 
uh, and have a ha hunky dory time doing it because the uh, how you how you enjoy the holidays is up to you. And wow, well, what about Hanukkah? Well, well, Hanukkah is actually bizarrely enough is not actually a Jewish holiday. It's not in it's not in the Torah. It's in the the Greek text of, known as the Septuagint. That's where you have Hanukkah, which is the Feast of the Maccabees, and it's part of a Christian tradition. Uh, is it uh, you celebrate one of the miracles uh, that was the prophecy of Christ, and that was the Feast of the Maccabees. So the, uh, the the Feast of the Maccabees, which is now commonly known as Hanukkah, is actually part of the Christmas tradition. It's part of is part of uh, celebrating celebrating Christmas. So. Uh, you can take that as part of part of your joy. Uh, on the twentieth, uh, actually on the nineteenth of December, just just passed. It was the day uh, Saint Nicholas became a saint. That's Sa Saint Nicholas of Santa Claus. You know miss Santa Claus. So, if you want to celebrate Santa Claus Day, you can. That's uh, on December nineteenth. And so we go all the way, you know, we go all the way through till basically uh, January 19th. And if you just want to keep that, that, you know, that Christmas spirit going for another couple of weeks, another two weeks, uh, and until you get to February 1st, and you can go ahead and do that. <laughs> but typically you have from December 1st all the way to January 19th to celebrate Christmas. So, uh, more, uh, all the power to you. You know, this is, you know, if, if, if you're a Christmas person, then this is good news. And that's my right and my cue to sort of to end this. And uh, I'll probably come back uh, later on tonight, probably around midnight, and uh, have a bit of dis continue our discussion, our conversation, if it were, as it were. This is my time. <laughs> my clock is off. There's the bus. While we're coming to the end of yet another day, uh, I don't, it's the, uh, December 23rd, it is five hours and five minutes into the day of December 23rd, it is a Wednesday, I'm just looking to see what's on my phone here, if any messages came in from Instagram and nothing has, so, so uh, we're good to go. I uh, just uh, poured off a batch of uh, cold brew tea. Uh, it's the pour uh, the pourer tea, and um, I've infused it with dates. That it was so it was uh, not just the uh, uh, a pourer tea. I always uh, mix my teas with other various different fruits. Uh, and herbs, depending on uh, what the depending on the flavor that I want, and in many cases the properties that I want, uh, the dates and uh, provide uh, they're high in vitamins uh, and a wide range of vitamins. So uh, infusing a tea with dates gives the tea itself a whole variety of vitamins that uh, that, that may be necessary for the for the system. Uh, including for eyesight and for a number of different things. The poor tea that I've tested out before, and this is the same the same tea that I had before, had uh, when I was trying to lose some weight. And it was more of an issue, you know, it wasn't necessarily an issue of weight con uh, uh, control. It was an issue of what we call intestinal health or, or colon health. And I realized that in many cases that uh, materials... Uh, like any, on any pipe will get stuck to the walls of the pipe and as the uh, uh, the stuff sticks to the pipe it causes a narrowing of the pipe and every once in a while you have to get out go out there and put something down that will clear out the uh, the pipe or otherwise if, if it gets too difficult they have to go in and do surgery they have to put something like, like uh, <laughs> a snake down your drain and uh and drain it out that way. Uh, uh, break up the materials. And they either go down the throat, uh, with the, which is the intubation, 
uh, which is very uncomfortable. Or they go through the uh, the other end, which is equally as uncomfortable uh, and not as sort of a pleasant experience. I've seen uh, other people go through it. I've seen people have uh, intestinal blockage issues, and where they're going through the intubation uh, through either end, uh, they are not in any form, any form what you would say comfortable or relaxed. They are in extreme discomfort, and it it can create issues, particularly on on the mental health end. That that that, that the discomfort is such, and if it's for a long period of time, uh, and even a day is a long period of time for, for, for many perspectives. It it kind of feels like a, it, it kind of feels like you're climbing a mountain without any without any uh without any ropes, without any safety net. Your arms and legs are starting to give out and you hope you're near the the, the point where you can take a rest. You know, at a plateau or even near the top. Uh but the thing is, you don't dare look down. You don't. You, the, the way is, is that the persevere for, is you bury your head in your work and you continue forward. Uh, the same thing with uh, mountain climbing is you don't look down. <laughs> you don't look to see where you are in terms of, necessarily in terms of where your progress is by looking down, or even in many cases looking up because the, that will break your focus. And the thing is, fear is fear is an amazing thing. Fear, if your fear gets 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 strong enough, it can buckle your knees, buckle your, buckle your legs, and you won't be able to walk. Not because you physically can't walk, because you're afraid to walk. This is what happens with with people who break their hips. And it's it, it, it's it, this is this is brought out biblically actually uh, when uh, Saint Peter walks on water. I think it's St. Peter, but, uh, and he, he, he's walking on water, he's focusing on Christ, but then the fear of where he is on the water, in, 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 in the rising waves, he becomes afraid, and as he becomes afraid, his focus breaks and he starts to drown. And, this is sort of the same thing with us, that, that, that there are, we are faced with conditions that is very difficult to focus through the pain. It's very difficult to look forward. And every day is a struggle. Uh, a matter of not even every day, every minute is a struggle. There, and so what happens, it, it, there is the sort of sense of, you know, that you do have to persevere. But the thing is, there is the, there, there is that weight, there is that, there is that struggle. And the struggle is real. It's, it's not necessarily a, 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 a nice or a pleasant thing. And the hard part is, is that, and, and this is the bizarre thing, the feeling when you go through things, when you're going through a tough period, is bizarrely different than when you get out of it. You can have a comfort, a sense of comfort while you're in the struggle or, or, or because things have slowed down and you're happy that things have slowed down. So maybe two things are moving too quickly for you. You know, life is moving too quickly. And what happens is when you are in a struggle, things do indeed slow down. The perception of time slows down. So it's not, nece it's not necessarily a bad thing it just you understand that there is a struggle there, that there is a necessary a need to persevere, a need to push forward. Uh, but at the same time, the focus that, that that you've created, that you create, creates a degree of comfort. Because if you're always on edge, then there has to be some. You have to create some degree of routine, even if the routine doesn't necessarily look normal. Uh, because you need that routine to give yourself some form of structure uh, to persevere through, to, to give yourself the perseverance. 
It becomes your security blanket in many ways. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the tea does start to digest things, and so you you end up with more gas in the system. And that's the sign. One of the signs that tea is working. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here for now. Uh, I will come back in a couple hours and start the next vlog. So this is the end of the vlog for uh, 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 Tuesday and Wednesday. For Tuesday, we're ending it on Wednesday. And in a couple hours, we'll begin the vlog for Wednesday.